In this tutorial, we will show you how to enable ActiveX in Internet Explorer. First of all, log on to the website pcpitstop.com backslash testax.asp. When the sites open up, you will be notified that ActiveX is not supported. Now click on the gear icon, which is located at the top right corner of the page, and move over to Safety. Over here, click on the ActiveX filtering option to disable the feature. Now refresh the current page, and a notification will pop up, letting you know that a script is trying to access an ActiveX control. Simply click on Yes to allow it. With that done, you can see the time being displayed in the web page. That means that you have enabled ActiveX. An alternate way to disable ActiveX filtering is by moving to the address bar on top and clicking on the blue icon right before the refresh icon. A pop-up window will open up, letting you know that some contents on the website are filtered. Over here, click on the Turn Off ActiveX Filtering option and the feature will be disabled. You can also open up the Internet Properties window to set up ActiveX controls. For that, open up the Run command by using the shortcut key Windows key R. With that done, type in INETCPL.CPL and hit Enter. In the Internet Properties window, move over to the Security and click on the Custom Level button. Over here, move to the ActiveX Controls and Plugins section and enable the Allow Scriptlets feature. For the Download Unsigned ActiveX Controls option, click on Prompt. This is so that only the recommended updates are automatically installed. Whenever an unsigned ActiveX control will require an update, you will be notified first. Lastly, move to the Script ActiveX Controls Marked Safe for Scripting section and enable the feature. With these settings, ActiveX controls will automatically be able to update themselves as and when required. Now click on OK to save the changes made and exit. And that's it.